While I'm waiting for my dough discs to come to room temperature, because they've been in the refrigerator overnight, I am going to make the fillings. I'm going to make a variety of different fillings. First, um, I'm going to take a fruit spread from Trader Joe's. This one has black currant, um, and I'm sure I'm going to butcher this, a kai and pomegranate mixed fruit spread. And it's an organic one, so I decided to use all organic uh, dried fruit to mix with it. So I have prunes, pineapple, mango, and apple. So these are all dried, and what I will do is reconstitute them with some boiling water, let them sit for about five, you know, seven minutes or so, and then add a few tablespoons of the um, spread, and then I'm going to mix it. Actually, I'm going to blend it with my lovely KitchenAid stick blender. The other fillings that I was interested in making um, are also made with fruit spreads. This one is an all fruit from Polliner that I like a lot. It's peach. I wish it was organic, but you know, you do what you can. These are organic dried apricots, so I'm going to reconstitute these and mix them with the peach spread. Moving along, we have very fancy uh, black cherry spread, and I'm going to use some tart cherries that have been dried, and I've chopped those, and I'm going to reconstitute them. I didn't use as much of those because they have so much flavor. These are dried pears. If you've never tried dried pears, you really must. They're, they're so wonderful. Um, you can get them at Trader Joe's, um, and I got these at a local pretty fancy deli. And I'm going to mix them with some fancy royal fig spread. So now I'm going to reconstitute them and we'll be back in a flash when I'm mixing them up with my friend the stick blender. One thing I did forget to mention was that after you reconstitute them with the water, you want to drain them off. Okay, so drain them off and then put them into your container with the, um, the spread and then blend them up with the stick blender. Because the pears were the first ones to come back to life, I decided to strain them first. I'm also going to save the liquid that comes off of all the dried fruit and probably mix it together and use it for another recipe in the future. I've added a couple of teaspoons of the fig preserves to the um, the dried pears, the reconstituted dried pears, and I'm using quite a large container to do the hand blending, and the reason why is because the last time I used a small container, I made a huge mess all over the kitchen. Okay, so let me grab this guy and give it a few blends. And what I'm going to do is aim to make this smooth. So after using the hand blender on this for, gosh, I don't know, two, three minutes, I've got this lovely smooth paste that tastes fantastic. You can taste the pear and the fig, but neither one of them is, is battling the other one. It's just a wonderful combination. I just want to spread it on toast right now. So now I'm going to drain each of the dried fruits that I'm reconstituting. Wow, look at that big pile over there. With their corresponding spreads and again use the hand blender to get a smooth fruit filling. In case you were wondering, I do rinse the container and the, uh, the hand blender pretty lightly. I mean, I don't go through the scrubbing thing, but I, I rinse it with really hot water between each uh, blending so that there isn't an overlap of the flavors for each of the fillings. Well, if you like apricots and peaches, this is just about the best thing ever. There's just this lovely, slight tartness and just full summer fruit flavor. Really great stuff. I can't wait to, uh, to use this as a spread and the filling. I hope I can keep that color. It's just this vibrant, vibrant apricot color. And now for the flavor filling voted most likely to stain, we have the black cherry and the tart cherry mixture. 
which is just wonderful, sophisticated cherry stuff. I did not blend this as smoothly as the others on purpose because I thought you could use some texture because there, there were full cherries, full um, dark cherries in the spread that I used for this particular filling. It's really great stuff. Just a quick tip, along with rinsing the uh, hand blender and your other utensils during the mixing process, you might want to give your strainer a once over so that the dried fruit doesn't stick to it. I'd like to call this filling more of a fruit salad filling because that's really what it is, except for the fact that the primary flavors in this filling are plum and then pomegranate. It's, it starts with a really plummy, full flavor and then ends with the tang of pomegranate. It's really pretty. I mean, comparing it to the dark cherry, it's, it's a completely different flavor and, and color profile. And then you have the, the apricot. So there's going to be a really nice variety of flavors um, and, co and colors in these cookies. I really, I hope they they keep some of their color because it's just really beautiful colors.